When you look at yourself and see the years passing, your failures and traumas, sins and internal wounds, doubts, the ruins of your being, the corpses of your thoughts and heart's desires that filled your life, when you see how many times you've repented and done nothing, a certain sadness overwhelms you. This sadness can instinctively arise from within us, from our egotism, our pride, as we desire greatness, to be free from thoughts, to have no failures. Countless unfulfilled desires makes us sad. It's better to fall into the hands of cunning demons, legions of demons, than to fall into the hands of sadness because it is difficult to overcome. Therefore, be sober. Stay awake, so that sadness does not overcome you. Otherwise, it's questionable whether you'll succeed. A trap is that every sadness hides an ambush. How many people have become the prey of the demon of sadness, who sets his ambushes everywhere? How many people, while seeking God with love, are ensnared by the demon of sadness, and his catch is countless? Because sadness hides behind feigned humility, false repentance, false experience of God's love, and countless other things. Thus, a person, unaware of it, readily accepts it and becomes entirely useless. Sadness can destroy strength within a person. It doesn't stop until it incapacitates you and makes you entirely powerless for anything. The most insidious way the demon, our thoughts, uses is quoting the words of the Lord. Blessed are those who mourn. No, says Abba Isaiah, do not be deceived. That is satanic. It is not from God. Sorrow for God is joy because you see yourself in God's will, says Abba Isaiah. Let's assume that I have sinned like Saint Mary of Egypt, that I have lived distortedly until now, 47 years, and at this moment I say, I have sinned, Lord, I will arise. How do I recognize whether there is sorrow within me? If I continue to think about my sin, my thought is demonic. If I think about repentance, it means that I desire God's will, and immediately I have the joy and anticipation of God's will. I immediately place myself among the innocent, pure, and repentant, in communion with all the saints. Therefore, do not confuse satanic, demonic sorrow with sorrow for God. Sorrow for God is joy because before you, you see God, for whom your heart lives, and thus, the Lord Jesus Christ reigns within you. This is genuine, God-pleasing sorrow.